The U.S. Supreme Court upheld a federal law prohibiting domestic abusers with a restraining order from possessing a gun. I'm Penelope Lopez, a Euromillion Parish reporter in Abbeville, speaking with Chief Mike Hardy on how these measures impact our local community. Today's victory with the Supreme Court will certainly go a long way to reinforcing those measures. The U.S. Supreme Court on Friday upheld a federal ban on firearms for anyone placed under a domestic violence restraining order. The law dates back to 1994, intending to keep firearms out of the hands of domestic abusers. A long-standing decision Chief Mike Hardy supports. As he tells me, domestic violence continues to be a top issue in Abbeville. It's, it's not a small number. It's, it's, a, it's a high number for the number of calls we do. Since the beginning of the year, Abbeville Police Department has received 94 domestic violence abuse calls a crisis community advocates are trying to tackle. We see in our community far too often how dangerous and deadly domestic violence is. People are murdered on a regular basis in our communities. This is a very serious crime and should be dealt with in that way. Offenders need to be held accountable for their actions. That's how we help to stop domestic violence. Executive Director Billy Lancome of Faith House, an organization that provides support for domestic violence survivors and their children, says safety is her top priority when addressing this issue. Clients can come in and receive counseling, advocacy, assistance with filing protective orders, whatever their needs may be while they're working through their domestic violence situation, but most importantly, safety. We're focused on saving lives of those who are affected by domestic violence. And according to the FBI, the law has blocked more than 77,000 attempted firearm purchases by people under domestic violence restraining orders. I'm glad that the Supreme Court upheld this law, that it's gonna continue going on. It just gives law enforcement a, a little bit of help where they know that at least the this, this spouse should not have a, a firearm or a weapon on them.